Hello everyone, so today I am doing a collab video with Jackie from Nerdy Crafter and my creation is actually right here and it is this little Poro snacks with tiny Poro and a memo clip um, an alligator clip actually holding the creation that Jackie is actually making and she is making this very adorable Mario Bento as you can see um, there are these cute little mushrooms and the little boo, the little ghost I don't really know the name but I'm going to talk more about this during the video. I will also put the link for this down in the description box. You can also click the picture right here. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. It was so much fun doing this collaboration with Jackie. And I hope to do it again with her very, very soon. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this Poro Snacks Memo Clip Holder and this is a collaboration that I am doing with Jackie from Nerdy Crafter. You can also check out her creation which is going to be this Mario Bento and I'm going to put the link down below. So to start off, you're going to make this little bowl for the Poro Snacks and I have a tutorial on how to make this um, and I'll put the link down below. So then I added some Fimo Zeco Gelatinas at the bottom and added in some gold clay. So this is just going to hold the bowl better. And then I rolled out a small golden log and we're going to make four different pearl snacks today that I'm going to show you. I kind of cut them into equal pieces and for this first design, all I did was I just, you know, uh, imprinted a small circle and pretty much that's it. It's nothing special. I also took a blade and cut out a little piece to make it look like a bite mark. And also remember that you can make any kind of pearl snacks that you want. This one is actually the one that looks like the one on League of Legends. For the second one, I'm actually going to flatten it out into a line and then you're going to see that one end is thinner than the other and we're going to use that as the middle and then we're going to roll it together to make it look kind of like um, an actual pastry that we see in real life. And I just took a toothbrush and then started texturing it. The next one I'm making, which is the third one, I'm just texturing the top of the needle tool, make it look super realistic. And then I took a dotting tool, put a little hole in the middle, and then added um, some bronze clay, which is brown, and it kind of just looks like a chocolate donut now, kind of. And for this fourth one, I took my dotting tool again, and made a swirl, so this is kind of like a Swiss roll, and then I took a small line of bronze clay again and inserted it into the swirl, as you can see, and then um, just kind of textured it again with a needle tool. Then I placed all of them into a bowl like so, but I positioned it so you can kind of see each of the Poro snacks in a different way. And again, I know most of these look like pastries, but Poro snacks, in my opinion, can look like anything. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much what it looks like. You can even add a chocolate chip cookie if you wanted. I also added in some small pieces of gold clay to kind of fill up the room, make the bowl look a little rounder since my clay was actually pretty soft. And this is pretty much what it looks like. It kind of looked plain, so what I decided to do was I took my dotting tool and labeled the bowl itself Poro Snacks. And um, this is the way it's spelled on League of Legends, I believe. Then I took some Fimo Zeco Gel, added it into the center. And what we're going to add now is a Memo Clip Alligator Clip. I got this on Etsy. I'll put a link down below of where you can find yours. And actually the last thing I added was a mini Poro. This was a last minute decision. And I know a lot of you guys seeing this charm spotlight wanted me to make a Poro tutorial. So if you still want to see that, please let me know down below. But basically after that you just bake it. And this is pretty much what it looks like baked. You can feel free to paint the Poro Snacks um, name with white paint so it kind of looks a little better or kind of pops out a bit. But I really like how the Poro is kind of leaning against the alligator clip and also on top of the Poro Snacks. I think it kind of brings this entire piece together. And uh, again, you can make the Poro Snacks look like anything you want. And if I didn't mention this already, this is inspired by League of Legends and I wanted to make it useful by putting, it, um, putting an alligator clip in it so it holds paper, I suppose. So this is pretty much the entire tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to watch out Jackie's tutorial. I'll put it down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.